friends, it feels very good to be back again. Over the years, I have had a great many things to say here in Mackey Auditorium, and I am not going to stop now. This is the voice on my computer, and his name is Sir Lawrence. I chose him because I have always wanted to sound exactly like Simon Hargett. Blind people develop a more acute sense of hearing. Deaf people can better notice events on the periphery, read body language, lip read, and use sign language. But what about people like me, who lose the ability to speak? We expand other ways of communicating. There are three ways I can speak. I can print notes, I can type on my laptop, and this built-in voice says them aloud. I can use my own sign language, gesturing, waving, pointing, shrugging, slapping my forehead, tracing out letters on my poem, miming, performing charades, and more uses of thumbs up and thumbs down than I ever dreamed. <laughs> Another path is now open to me in this age of the internet. I can write, and writing has always been second nature to me as satisfying in a different way as speaking. Maybe because I was an only child with a lot of solitary time, I always felt a need to write and to read I am a quick writer. It flows easily and conversationally. That is one thing I can do just as well as I ever did. I can write and when I am writing my problems become invisible and I am the same person that I always was. It's not that I feel joy although that's what I sometimes claim. It's that I feel contentment. All is well. I am as I should be. In the past year, in addition to my movie reviews, I have started to write a blog. A long blog. Twice a week. One to five thousand words long. Many on very personal topics. In doing this, I began to sense a change going on. At first it was subjective. More recently, it has become undeniable. My writing has improved. It has expanded within my mind. It reaches deeper. It emerges more clearly. And it is more satisfactory. Sometimes, forgive me, I glory in it. Not in the quality of the prose but in the quality of the experience. In a very real way, my blog is a continuation for me of almost 40 years at this conference on world affairs. The conference has been instrumental in my process of growing up. I write not only about movies, but about books about infinity, about the debate between the theory of evolution and the silliness of intelligent design, about Ramin Barani, about Bill Nack, about the 1957 Studebaker Golden Hawk, and about the best hamburgers in America, now that Tom's Tavern has sadly closed. These entries inspire comments. I read every single one I do not allow stupid posts. Computer World Magazine called the comments on my blog about the best you will find on the internet. And often I reply to individual comments. It is like being on a boulder panel followed by a great discussion session. I am not on Facebook 
and I am not on Twitter. I will never be a twit. But my blog and its comments are like a daily conversation, and you can imagine how vital that is for me. I still take dictation from that place within my mind that always knows what I want to say. I think most good writers do. There is no such thing as waiting for inspiration. The muse visits during the process of writing, not before. At first when I could not speak, I could not read easily either. My wife, Chez, who stood beside me every moment, brought a video player to my hospital room, but I could not bring myself to watch movies. My life seemed stale and empty. I would spend hours in a murky stupor, staring into space. Curiously, my love of reading returned after I picked up Cormac McCarthy's novel, Sutri, a book one had already read. Now I read it two more times. I was not reading the same book. I was re-entering the same experience, the same visionary prose, the life of Sutri so urgently evoked. As rarely before, a book became tactile to me. When Sutri on his houseboat pulled a cord and brought up a bottle of orange soda pop from the bottom of the cool river, although I could no longer taste, I tasted it more sharply than any soda I've ever had. Then movies returned to me. My dear Chez brought me a movie she thought I would like. And she was absolutely right. Thank God for that day. And then writing came back. And then came contentment. I may have things to be depressed about, but I am not often depressed. My remaining abilities have expanded to fill the empty spaces. It is true that I still take dictation from that place in my mind that tells me what to write. But my mind has started dictating even before I am at the keyboard. Ideas, sentences, and words present themselves at all times. My wife sometimes notices me relaxed and motionless and asks if I would like to take lessons in meditation. I reply, actually, I'm very happy with my thoughts. By losing the ability to speak, I have increased my ability to communicate. I am busy. I am useful. I am happy. And I am contented.